Hey everyone, thanks for checking into our latest TDR Cannabis in 5 presented by Dutchie. I'm your host, Shad Dales. Today we've got an interesting story that could be transformative. It was first reported by Marijuana Moment, where a new peer-reviewed study just dropped and it's confirming something many in the cannabis space have long suspected. Legalizing medical marijuana leads to significant reductions in opioid prescriptions. Well, hello, great data, and it's about time we talk about this more in show proof. So let's find out exactly what I mean by this, some of the data that was reported in this study and what it could mean next for the medical cannabis industry. So let's get into our latest TDR Cannabis in 5 presented by Dutchie. But first, a quick word from Morgan & Morgan. Hey everyone, there's a reason smart investors celebrate when their portfolio jumps 40% in a year. Just like there's a reason Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. Think about it. When you're investing, you want the right team in your corner. The same is true if you're injured in dealing with an insurance company. And that is where Morgan & Morgan comes into the equation. Why? Well, they've got more than 1,000 attorneys in over 100 offices nationwide, and they've been fighting for people for over 35 years, and their track record is hard to ignore. Let me explain a little bit further. Case in point, in Florida, a client was offered $350,000, but walked away with $12 million. In Pennsylvania, another client, they turned $650,000 offer into $26 million. That's a 40X return. So in total, Morgan & Morgan, they've recovered more than $25 billion, for over 500,000 clients. So really when you hire him, it's like bringing in a legal army that has your back. Because if you're injured due to someone else's negligence, you deserve to be paid. And let's be honest, not all law firms are created equal. But with Morgan & Morgan, their fee is free unless they win. You can start your claim right now by clicking the link in the description below or by scanning this QR code on your screen with your phone. At the end of the day, if you want what you deserve, make sure you go in with the right team by contacting Morgan & Morgan today. Now, let's get back to the rest of our video. All right, let's get into it and focus first on the study itself. It was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association Health Forum, and it looked at data from 2010 to 2020. Researchers from the University of Southern California and Cornell University analyzed prescription trends across states with and without medical cannabis laws. What they found as well was very striking. States that legalized medical marijuana saw a measurable drop in opioid prescriptions among Medicaid patients. And we're not talking about a small dip. These were statistically significant reductions. So in states with active dispensaries or home cultivation laws, the decline was actually even sharper. So that tells us something important. Access matters. So let's pause for a minute and think about that. We're in the middle of an opioid crisis that's claimed over 100,000 lives in a single year. And here's a tool, medical cannabis. That's showing real potential to reduce dependency on opioids. So this isn't just about substitution. It's about giving patients safer, more sustainable options for managing pain. And when those options are then legal, regulated and accessible, people obviously are choosing them. And let's face it, that's a public win. And it's a policy signal as well. Further to that, the study also found that homegrown laws had a particularly strong impact. When patients can grow their own medicine, opioid prescriptions drop even more. So again, that's powerful insight. It suggests that affordability and autonomy play a big role in how people manage their their health, and it also raises questions about why some states still restrict home cultivation. Big Pharma lobbying at its best, does it not sound like that right now? Because if the goal is harm reduction, then limiting access to cannabis, especially for medical use, might be doing more harm than good. And I think we all are very aware of this that fall this space. And speaking of access, none of this works without infrastructure, and that's where Dutchie comes in. Dutchie is the platform that helps dispensaries run smarter, from point of sale to e-commerce to compliance. If you're in the cannabis space, Dutchie is your tech backbone. If you want to learn more, visit business.dutchie.com. All right, let's now shift and talk about Medicaid for a second. Medicaid serves low-income and vulnerable populations, people who are often hit hardest by addiction, chronic pain, and limited health care options. So when you look at it, when opioid prescriptions drop in this group, the impact, let's face it, it's massive. We're talking fewer overdoses, fewer emergency room visits, and fewer families torn apart. That is the reality. So that's not not just a healthcare story, that is a human story that we have here. So when you factor all this in, what do 
does this mean now for the future? Well, one, for lawmakers, the data is in. Medical cannabis isn't just a cultural issue, it's a public health tool. If you're serious about addressing the opioid crisis, then cannabis reform, let's face it, needs to be part of the strategy. Come on now. For healthcare providers, it's time to rethink pain management. Cannabis, as we know, it isn't a fringe issue anymore. It's front line, especially when they're producing data like this. And for investors and operators, this could be a defining moment. Let's just get this administration focused on what is being produced here. Let's make it simple already. Because when you factor all this in, this could be the next wave of innovation, especially when it comes to healthcare. So, rescheduling. There's nothing to lose here. Let's just look at the research itself, because this study is producing unbelievable results for the reduction in opioid addiction. So the bottom line here, in closing, this study isn't just another data point. Let's face it, it's a wake-up call. Legal medical cannabis produces opioid prescriptions, and it's not speculation, it's actual real science. And if we're serious, and I mean serious about saving lives, reducing harm, and building a more compassionate healthcare system, then expanding access to cannabis isn't optional. Let's face it, it's essential. Remember those COVID days, how cannabis was deemed as essential? Well, here's the next chapter that needs to take place for this industry. So that's it for our latest TDR Cannabis in 5 presented by Dutchie. Interesting story, is it not? How about that data that was produced? Let us know your feedback or leaving your comments below and as well if you like this breakdown make sure to give it a like smash on that bell for all notifications and greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to us here at tdr these are the types of stories that need to go viral and spread this is very very interesting and telling so again that's it for now i'll see you in the next video enjoy your day everybody and thanks again for watching